hello hello welcome back to red a turd art i have a super cute toy for you today now best thing about this toy is not only is it a toy oh got it in the old cup and ball game but if you don't use the eyeball and just make your frankenstein these are little paper cups that you can actually use and fill with treats at halloween they stand up if you squish the bottoms down or you can use it as a little game instead so it's kind of like a, a really good two for one cute paper craft for halloween anyway enough dribbling on let's take a look and see how they're made we're going to need a square piece of green paper. So this is A4, but any large piece of green paper is fine. You bring up the corner and this is how we're going to get our square. When you've got it up, you cut along this line. Keep the scraps for other projects. And you have a square. So there you go, square. Now this happens to be 21 by 21 centimeters. I've made a smaller one before, which is 15 by 15 centimeters. Both work, but I like the bigger size slightly better. So you take your square piece of paper, bring the corner up and fold it to create this a triangle. Now to make the paper cup, you bring this corner up and this edge needs to be parallel to this edge and reach the corner over here. So you have a parallel and a parallel. You repeat with the other side, bring the corner up and create a straight line across the top and crease. Now you bring one flap down and crease, fold over, bring the other flap down and crease. This is now your basic paper cup. To decorate it as a Frankenstein, I'm gonna bring this little lip and tuck it in. It just means we now have kind of an easier to hold cup. This now needs to be turned into Frankenstein. So the first thing we're gonna do is take our black pen and draw on some Frankenstein-ish hair. We're then gonna color it in. Next, I'm gonna take some scrap white paper and I'm gonna draw an eye and we're gonna cut the eyes out. So here's the first one. We're now going to cut out an eyebrow. We can now glue on these features. And then just add a cute quirky little smile and a scar. So you've got your basic Frankenstein finished. At this point you could actually use Frankenstein as a little cup for treats, maybe put some candy cane in it, whatever you wish, but we're turning it into a toy. And in order to turn it into a toy we're going to need some sellotape, some funky paper for the eyes, a little bit of baker's twine, I've got some sort of dark green here, and some scrap paper. So undo some baker's twine. Some people, well, not some people, I was thinking you could probably also use a paper clip that would help secure it. So this is my scrap paper. I'm not actually sure what it says, so I might just get it that way around. I'm gonna tape down my I'm gonna tape this, tape down my baker's twine, but first I'm gonna make a little knot just to make sure it um, doesn't slip. Don't really have to do the knot, but I think it helps. And then I'm going to stick this down right into the center because I don't want it coming out. And then I'm gonna fold this in. This is not an exact way of doing it. 
and then scrunch it up. So the reason I folded it in a little bit first, and then you just squish it until you've got a nice neat ball, is because I wanted a smooth-ish surface on one side, but it doesn't have to be that exact, to be honest. So that's your ball. Now you can, like I mentioned, put a paper weight, um, a paper clip inside that makes it heavier and therefore a little bit easier to play with. So now I need to make the eyeball. So I'm going to cut out a circle again. Here's my circle. <laughs> Can you see it against the orange? Put a little bit, little eyeball in the middle. I love the eyeball. I think it's so funny. And then add some little um, lines with red. This is the only red pen I could find to hand. You don't have to have a special Posca pen. You can use any pen. Do some eyeball lines. And then finally glue on your center of your eye. There we go, your eyeball is done. So all that remains now is to secure your end of the uh, baker's twine inside your paper cup. Now, the length of the baker's twine will determine whether it's um, an easy game or a hard one. I think the longer it is, the harder. I'm not sure actually, I haven't played it often enough. I'm making some knots at the end just to help secure again the tape in place get a little tape put it over the end and stick inside now if you want to be super careful you can open up the flap you can stick it there where the flap would go and then you can put the flap back down on top but to be honest it's, it's just a little extra and there you've got it finished when you push this let's push it in a little bit at the bottom you have your little cup and then you get to play obviously when you're off camera you can, oh there we go you can uh, just get it through swinging so that's one i've made and here's a smaller one i did like i said i I think the bigger one's slightly easier to play with, but really, as per usual, it's up to you what materials you've got and how much paper you want to use. And what I love about these little um, Frankensteins is that they really do double up as a cup for some candy cane sweets or anything similar. Now, just quickly, if you like this craft, I think you will love my new paper projects books. The reason I say this is because I have a very similar project in there. The, let's see, <laughs> the, where is it? Oh, here we go. The adorable paper chicken and chicks. And it's very similar. It's the same principle. It's making a paper cup. And what I personally love about this book, and I know I would say this, is you learn how to make one thing, for example, the paper cup. And then in the book, I tell you, now go off and how can you use this thing you've learned today in a different way? And here's an example of how you can decorate the same craft in a very different way. And by going through the book, so for example, at the back of the book, I have, um, I do actually have some Frankenstein cups. Let's see where they are, not cups, a Frankenstein craft. And so I give you tips and tricks of how to create your own designs throughout the book. Oh, here we go, look, isn't he? He's very similar, isn't he? So you're given the tools within the book to then multiply the same craft and use it for different seasons and different occasions. So yeah, do check out the book. I really hope you like it. I think it's fabulous. Um, I've tried to make it as easy as possible and as fun as possible so everyone can have a go. But anyway, I hope you like this craft. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Above all, keep making, keep watching. And uh, yeah, I'd love to see you again soon. Take care, bye.